Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again today. So, I've got the uh, AquaCube. I said I was going to do a review on it, so I've got it here in the bag. So we'll just open it up. So this is the uh, the new lithium rechargeable one. It's really really light too, guys. So we'll just lift the bag down here. So this is the unit. It's all stainless steel and got your vents here on the side. Got your uh, pump connection and your, your charge there. You've also got a fuse. Uh, that's where your gas, little gas bottle goes onto. And then you've got all your uh, controls here on uh, your start button and your temperature as well and then obviously your um, your outlet on this side and your uh, inlet on this side so that'll probably be the pump side but we'll, um, go ahead and hook the rest of the hoses up and I'll uh, show you how it works so this is the first time I've used it too I've used uh, Tony's in the past he's got the old the old green style pretty much the same unit they just don't have the uh, lithium battery I'm pretty sure so so guys, I just use these um, Coleman. I'm, I'm sure there's different brands, but this is the ones that I've got. They just use these. So this style of gas bottle just screws in here on the in the back. Just nip it up. Don't don't over tighten it because you could damage the thread and stuff like that. So nipped up. So you got your uh, your hoses here. See, this is your uh, your pump end, and you can take these off. This little screen here, you've got a thread there, so you can actually put it onto like a BSB thread or whatever, and actually have it go into a tank or a jerry can um, as well. If you didn't want to use the uh, use a bucket like I'm going to about now, so that goes in there, and then I think this plugs onto the back. So it goes on this brass fitting just here. Make sure it's on there nice and snug. And then your black cord goes into the back of your, your pump just there. So pretty, pretty basic guys, I think it's pretty cool. I bought this one because I've been using Tony's. Every time we went camping, I just used to use his shower. But I uh, yeah, decided to that we should uh, get our own so and then that just quick connects on the front and you've got this silicon silicon hose here so we'll uh that's pretty much it guys and then it comes with um your um your dc charger and it also comes with your 240 charger as well um in the bag so it doesn't come with gas bottles but guys just remember that that you don't get gas bottles with it so the reason why I like this one over a few of the other brands is that it's got the switch here so you can just um it's just uh automatic on and off it, it does it from the switch here so which is really cool so I think it's based off pressure it turns it on and off so we'll just go ahead now and um turn the unit on and we'll uh hit start and the pump's kicked in And then you've got your uh, your inlet temperature, so the water's coming in at 17 degrees. And then you can just adjust, adjust this dial here. So right now we're up to 29 degrees. And that's, uh, that's getting pretty warm now, 36, 38, 40, 41, 42. Still going up guys, 43. We're sitting on 43, so it must, oh no, 44. 45. And then if you want to shut it off, it just automatically turns off back here guys. So then um, the pump still runs, but then while you're in the shower, you can soap up, save water. 
and then you just kick it on again. It auto ignites back here. So it must auto ignite from the, the water coming through, but you can see the steam coming off that now. That's, uh, that's awesome. So guys, you have to like, use these outside or maybe in a steel canopy or something like that, you could probably use it, but it does say to use it outside. Um, so yeah, guys, I'll turn it off just now. So I'm not too sure how long the battery lasts, guys. I suppose I'll have to charge it, fully charge it, and then constantly use it um, over the next few trips to uh, work out exactly how long that battery's gonna last. So it's saying that it's full charge. It does have an indicator here on the um, on the display. If you guys can see that, there's a little battery indicator there. So start it again. I don't think you can get much simpler shower than that. But then um, just turn that off now. But I'll show you guys my backup shower. So if this companion ever fails, how I'm going to have a shower something really lightweight that I can take with me and if I've got a campfire then I've got a shower so I'll um, I'll just get this out of the way and I'll be back with you in a minute before I do that guys I'll show you the um, different it's got different head functions just here too so you've got a few different selections there you can, yeah, you can see the, st the steam coming off that bad boy right now. So guys, that's 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 at 50 degrees right now. So that's just, that's awesome. It's so basic too. It's just you just charge it up before your weekend camping. Take a bucket, or you can hook it to your your tank if you've got a water tank in your vehicle, and just run a hose off that. Yeah, it's just a little self-contained unit, which is really easy to have a shower. You just carry a couple of gas bottles with you, little gas bottles, and <laughs> I can't fold it. Like I said, we've been using Tony's. Tony's that is for years and years, and we use it every time we go away on a trip because he usually comes when we go on a trip. So it's uh, yeah, perfect. So I'm glad I got my own now. So yeah, we'll uh, give it a good hard run at the next trip. But like I said, Tony always usually comes, so he's got his setup pretty on point now. He's got um, he's got the Aqua Cube on top of his water tank in the back of his aluminium canopy on the back of his Hilux. So it's basically just all you just open the side of the canopy and push on and push start, and you've got hot hot water coming out. So um, I'd really like to do something like that with the F truck. Um, see how we go. But again, these units aren't really designed to be in an enclosure just because they are releasing heat and um and burning gas and stuff like that so they're designed to be outside but um anyway guys we'll um yeah we'll jump over to this other shower now so the backup if this ever fails what my backup is to have a shower all right guys well here it is it's the oz trail canvas shower so it's like a um it's just a big bucket it's got this uh like a pvc liner on the inside just here but this and this here, but this tap I put in there because basically how these work is you screw these in and there's a little plastic grommet in there and it's supposed to shut this off, but the trouble is it gets jammed. So then when you go to undo it, the water doesn't come out. So I pulled that, that plastic grommet out and I put this tap head in there. So you just turn that on, water comes flowing, and there's your, there's your shower. So what I'll do, I'll set this up now and I'll show you how it works. So all you need is your shower bucket bring a stainless bucket when you go camping just any good quality not not thin Chinese stainless ones you want a good quality solid stainless bucket and then um, you can heat your water up on the fire so if you've got a nice campfire going just put your, your bucket of water go and get some water out of the creek if you're near a creek or whatever or out of your water tank in your vehicle just um, fill it up a little bit just get that get that uh, bucket on the fire let that water warm up just um, don't leave it on there too long, otherwise it'll be too hot, so you just want it nice and warm. Once it's warm, quickly get ready to have a shower. And um, you just pretty much hang this from a from a tree, or you could hang it if you'd rig something up on your roof rack of your vehicle or something like that. Pretty much just hang it, and um, 
yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll show you how I've got it rigged up to work now. Alright guys, so you got your, your bucket shower here with your um, your Bunnings tap. So I put this uh, tap on there, like I said before. This part here comes with it, and this part here comes with it, but I put this tap in the center there to uh, allow a better, you can control the water a lot better than the, the plastic grommet one that comes inside of it. So if you are gonna buy one of these, make sure you go to Bunnings and get a tap fitting. Take this with you when you go to Bunnings, so that way you get match up the right one. But basically all you do is, um, We'll put some water in it now. Got your uh, your stainless bucket. It's just heated up on the fire. It's got your water in there. Obviously, you'd put it on a bit of a higher branch, but just so I can show you how it works, I'll move you in a bit closer. And then uh, there's your nice warm bush shower. It can't get much better than that, guys. It's pretty simple. You just your stainless bucket and your little canvas bush shower, and and it's good because you can adjust and slow the water right down, and then turn it off while you soap yourself up. But yeah, guys, that's um that's my backup shower in case the companion ever ever doesn't want to to work, as you know, electronics and things fail all the time. So that's just a basic basic shower so um, yeah look up Oz Trail look up Companion um, yeah pretty good stuff so anyway guys that's about it for this video there are a couple of options for our camp showers so if you haven't already please uh, like and subscribe and uh, plenty more outdoors overland builds and trucks and stuff like that and and plenty more to come on the channel so anyway guys I'll uh, see you in the next one catches